Radio Engineering Graphics and Design Learners. I'm Mr. Stefan Klein and in this video, I'm going to do an in-depth overview of your practical assessment task for 2021, specifically pertaining to your civil design project. And as you know, this channel you need to subscribe to because it is how to EGD taking you into the back end of engineering graphics and design, the subject I so much love. So to start us off, I've made a quick compilation video showing you and revealing to you the pack task for 2021. Let's have a look. Radio, before I get into the discussion of this pet, let me make sure you understand the purpose of this video. It's really to give you an overview of your civil pet for 2021. And I'm going to help you pace yourself and have understanding of what is the bigger picture so that you can be sure to prepare yourself accordingly to get the best possible mark out of this pet. Remember, it's 25% of your year mark for engineering graphics and design so that's why this video and watching it to the end is very very important okay so the scenario that you are given to given is that you are a architect and you have a client okay and you need to come up with a design proposal for a new river lodge like you saw in my introduction video and that is exciting. You don't have to be worried about accommodation and all of that. We're just going to focus in on the reception, the spa area, the restaurant, and of course, your deck, which is a very important part of this pet. So by now, I'm going to just minimize myself here. By now, you should have received from your teachers your actual assessment task, your formal assessment task, which is a civil design project. And the scenario I've briefly explained a few seconds ago. We're going to do an in-depth discussion on the actual design brief once we get to the video on compiling that design brief. This video is just, of course, for the overview. Okay, so this document is quite detailed. Make sure you read it through, especially here on the second page where they actually show you your site plan. And now the area that you're going to be, uh, you know, constructing or designing your river lodging is here clearly defined between your building lines there and your sewer line. Okay, and I'll do a discussion on the site plan again, but you've got your river on this left-hand side. You've got contour lines very close to each other, so it's a nice steep drop for that deck that needs to be raised, um, like you saw in some of the earlier pictures. Okay, so a pat is divided into three phases. The first phase here is your presentation, sorry, presentation requirements okay and that includes five main items the design brief the specifications the constraints your management plan and one more else oh yeah your introduction paragraphs those are the five items that you need to take note of and you the detail about those you can find of course in this part here all the way there you go it ends here okay at um, uh, uh, your comprehensive summary at the end of your actual research then phase two uh, of your presentation requirements that's where we're going to get into the actual drawings okay the the preparing of the drawings the floor plans the elevations the sectional elevations etc and that can be found the the core of them 
and what's required you can find in this part of the document and then your third phase which is the presentation requirements that's actually how do you want this to be compiled your front cover your index your bibliography your summative assessment sheets etc that's all being discussed in this part of the document the final part which uh, i think you need to really know is the assessment criteria and checklist this is how you're going to be assessed on your pet which counts 25 percent of your year mark for EGD. so you really cannot pay attention you need to give it your utmost in this time so here you can see the design brief is made up out of five different components each one weighs two marks which gives you a total of 10 marks now your first paragraph second paragraph the details of this as i said is discussed in the actual document under its phase of course right i've paired this with a pace setter that will help you as you prepare and go through the work to be on time and not rushed and overwhelmed okay so your your pace setter which i'll make available as a download in this video description is for you but I think your teachers might be different, but I'm going to be, I think, a week or two ahead of them. So following mine should, you should be okay. All right. So phase one, as I said, is the design brief and there's five components and they should be numbered according to the numbers that is in this checklist. Okay. So your first paragraph must be numbered 1.1. Second paragraph, 1.2. Your actual list of specifications here must be 1.3, etc. It's quite understandable for a grade 12 like yourself, right? Then your research, you've got three different components that you need to do research on. And you'll see here the first one, 2.1, design and construction detail of aluminium stacking doors. It's a one-page A3 focused on that specific aluminium stacking doors design and construction. Your second page, which is also A3, on timber decks and railings, but specific again, the construction and the design. And lastly, the small indoor pool so this space setter you can see how they work together and then you've got your two th free end concepts 3.1 3.2 and again here in detail it tells you what is the requirements for those drawings and then selecting the drawing again that's also in here clearly shown what you're going to get marks for so you shouldn't be confused what is required if you actually have this document with you you cannot go wrong. Don't waste time on doing anything else but what is listed in here because that is where your marks are coming from. We don't give marks for great things done, which is outside of this scope. So please pay attention here. All right. And then your last phase is basically putting everything together, giving it a nice cover page, index, uh, bibliography, and final submission you'll see is around about 16 August. So if you're a matric learner, boy, you really don't have lots of time left. We're already at the end of March almost. So make sure you keep up um, with either this pace center or that of your teacher. Okay. And then at the end here, after you've gone to your full checklist, there's a bit of a rubric for you can to look at to just see how it's weighed, the different components. And at the end here, it is your PAT summative assessment sheet that we're going to do the actual marking of your pet on and then the last thing is the declaration uh, that it is your own work of course okay so with that said that's an overview i'm going to greet you this is the end of our introduction video keep an eye out because in my next video i'm going to show you a actual practical example i almost messed up this video right there. So in my final video, I'm going to give you actual ex I'm going to give you so in my final so in my final video, I'm going to give you actual examples of previous grade 12 um, pets that we can look at and learn from to make sure you get the best possible pet mark for this year. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. I'll see you next time. Cheers.